I'm always tired. I feel like I'm lacking in energy. I don't have the motivation. These are really common statements that we hear from chronic headache and migraine sufferers. So that's what we're discussing today. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth, osteopath here at Melbourne Headache Solutions. It is really, really, really common for chronic headache and migraine sufferers to feel like they're lethargic. They don't have the motivation. They're always tired. They're always dopey and they don't have the energy that they used to have before. So there are a couple of reasons why, um, and there are a couple of things that you can do to help feel like your energy is back or to help improve that. For a lot of um, headache and migraine sufferers, we do see that as we improve their headaches and migraines, then their energy does start to return. They do feel their motivation improve um, and they do feel like they're more awake, which is fantastic because their bodies are always constantly trying to heal something when you're in a constant headache and migraine state. So it's exerting energy to try to heal an injury. And when it's doing that, then you do feel like you're lacking in energy. You do feel tired because as a said it's always exerting energy trying to heal and fix something so when you do take away that injury when you're no longer having to divert that energy towards fixing something then you do feel a lot peppier you do feel a lot more awake which is fantastic but there are quite a few headache and migraine people that even when um, the pain does go away or significantly improve they still feel like they're lacking in energy um, and that they're still tired and a lot of the time when you are feeling tired or lethargic then it also can add to your feelings of headaches and migraines as well and so um, there are some simple things that you can do to have a look at um, your energy levels um, and uh, your fatigue levels your motivation levels um, to help improve that to also try to help improve your headaches and migraines and your general sense of well-being so some very simple things are we can look at things like your iron levels your vitamin d levels and your b vitamin levels um, because these can all contribute to sense um, feelings of um, fatigue tiredness rundownness um, lacking in energy and those sorts of things and they're super common particularly in women um, to be deficient in these things and you can supplement easily um, with these vitamins with these supplements um, if you are deficient in them and a simple blood test can tell you whether you're deficient in them um, and um, as I said, recuperating in these really helps to increase your um, energy levels as well and can really help with headaches and migraines as well if you are deficient in them. Another one is um, uh, your diet. So a lot of people, um, there's a strong connection with what you're eating and your energy levels. Um, and so uh, if you're eating a lot of processed food, if you're not eating um, your vegetables, if you're not eating good, clean, healthy foods, then you can notice a decrease in your energy levels um, and your motivation, um, feeling fatigued and sluggish and those sorts of things. And so eating a cleaner diet, a less processed diet can help to increase your energy levels um, and make you feel um, more vibrant as well. Eating at regular times, regular intervals and not letting your blood sugar spike all the time can also really help make you feel a lot more awake, a lot more alive. Um, when it comes time for sleep, a lot of people do have sleep issues, sleep problems, um, or they're not getting enough sleep. They're simply just not getting enough sleep or good quality sleep. So we really do need between seven to nine hours of sleep and everybody does vary a bit. It really does show um, that um, 8.25 hours is the average length of sleep that people do need. But as I said, everybody's a little bit individual. Um, and so we do need good quality sleep as well. So if you're waking up many times throughout the night, and it's taking you a long time to fall back asleep or it's taking you a long time to get to sleep um, at the beginning of the night. Um, if you're a very restless sleeper or if you're a light sleeper as well, then all these things can contribute to um, having a poor quality sleep and therefore that can contribute to your decrease um, sense of feeling awake, um, not feeling refreshed. That can add to your headaches and migraines because we do need um, good quality sleep to help decrease our headaches and migraines um, and feel more refreshed as well. So looking at your sleep quality and your length of sleep can be very important. Um, in regards to, um, as I said, one, headaches and migraines, but also two, feeling a lot more energetic as well. Um, something that can really help with this, one for headaches and migraines, but also two in terms of sleep quality, is magnesium. Magnesium is fabulous in terms of muscle aches and pains, helping to decrease headaches and migraines, and as I said, increasing sleep quality. So the recommended dosage for headaches and migraines is 600 milligrams 
um, per day, so it's quite a high dosage. Um, but uh, it, as I said, this does help with sleep quality as well, which is fantastic. Um, so if you're getting a good night's sleep, then that should help with your energy levels as well. Um, so these are some really easy things that you can do um, to look at in terms of your energy levels. Um, but as I said, if we're decreasing our headaches and migraines, then um, a lot of the time then people do perk up as well. They feel a lot more alive, a lot more refreshed, um, a lot less tired, which is fantastic. So if we're working on the other things, um, so uh, like looking at hormonal imbalances, treating the neck, treating the jaw, um, as I said, looking at your diet, definitely stress and anxiety levels as well. So if you're constantly stressed, um, you're anxious, you're feeling worn, um, worn down um, and those sorts of things, your system is constantly wound up, um, then that can lead to feelings of um, uh, feeling um, tired um, and um, lead to decreased sleep and those sorts of things as well. Um, and so you won't feel as refreshed, which can add to your headaches and migraines as well. So if we look at all of the areas that can contribute to your headaches and migraines, decrease your headaches and migraines, but also look at the areas that can contribute to you feeling um, a lack of energy, um, feeling tired and fatigued and lack of motivation, then overall we just make a happier and healthier person, which is fantastic. So I hope that this has helped. If you've got any questions or queries in regards to energy or headaches and migraines or anything at all just drop a comment below or send us a message I'm always happy to answer any kind of questions um, but I hope you found this useful and I'll catch you guys next time thanks